Okay, so for today's hopefully super quick video, uh, this is the HP G60 laptop, and I am going to be upgrading to an SSD. Uh, it's just a 40 gigabyte a Pacer industrial SSD. Well, actually, it's probably not even an industrial SSD. It's just one of those things. We'll be upgrading to that. I'm just going to do a straight clone, and once I've done that, then I'm going to worry about upgrading all the software, just because it's going to need it, and I know it's going to need it, because this thing has not run in a very, very long time. Now, how long, I don't know. It's been at least a month. So, we want to clone this disk, which is the one that we are booting from. We want to select a disk. There's only one option. Always hit OK on that. Oh, <laughs> looks like it's almost full. All right, so we'll just hit next. We'll hit next. We'll hit finish. I don't need to save it. We'll just run it. So the reason why I have these SSDs is because I put a low bit on a lot of ten of these forty gigabyte a Pacer SSDs. I also got a lot of five. 16 gigabyte SSDs. Of course, they look a little bit different. These are the industrial kind. I think I yeah no I think I have yeah I have used one already. Uh, so there were ten. There's one in another system and there's the one over there and this stack of eights for a total of ten, of course. And uh, <clears throat> I want to upgrade everything that I can over to an SSD. So all of these primary systems here will be getting SSDs. But I figure we'll start with this. And since people like seeing computer videos, here's a video of this one. I'm not going to make a video of them all because it's kind of pointless. You know, to see these computers hundreds of times. Based on the current status of that progress indicator, this is probably going to take a very long time. Of course, hard drive activity is going nuts. The real limiting factor is the fact that it's going over USB 2.0. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. So, it's not like this thing has got two inputs for hard drives. See why I want to change these to SSDs? That might make this a lot more difficult. Actually, I know it will make this a lot more difficult. So, I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to clean all of the junk off of this install first. See if I can shrink the partition using an outside tool. Because Windows certainly won't do it. And then run Clonezilla in rescue mode. And that might work. Hopefully. I guess we'll find out. Looking at an awful lot, this is going to be one of those lovely cases where all of the data that's on the machine is not user data. Because I've deleted everything that I could find in my user folder that corresponds to stuff I don't need, which is pretty much all of it. Because there's nothing on here I don't have somewhere else that's more up to date than what's on this. So just junk and all. And it didn't gain any space at all. It's still using like 35 gigabytes. So you can see that. And it doesn't even know that disk cleanup is going to do a whole lot for me either. So hmm. Well, we'll see what we can see what we can get here. And there's just some stuff in temporary, but that's not even a gigabyte. Hmm. So I guess we'll find out. Okay. Here we are. Well, it's not in focus. 
resize. I'm going to make it straight up. Uh, the limit is 37.17. I'm going to make it 37.00. hit OK. I don't care about any of the rest of the space. We'll apply it. You can see there, reboot required. Do not check partitions because I don't actually care. And we'll reboot the machine. And hopefully everything will work. Okay. Yo, my partition assistant will work in blah, however many seconds. Hopefully this is going to do its job. Somehow I kind of doubt it. I don't know why it's analyzing, I told it not to. So that that's going to fail. And my battery is about to die, so I think I'm probably going to shut this video off here for a minute. So I'll be right back thanks to the magic of video editing. Well, videotape. I don't have to do much editing on this. Okay, so supposedly the process failed with an error code of 2, whatever that's supposed to mean, but uh, yet it shrunk the partition size and it rebooted and it's still running, so I don't know what to say about that really. I'm going to give it another try if I can find it. I've lost it again. The lights have gone out because it's 3 o'clock. Uh, this is a process that should have been done. So if this doesn't work, I'm just going to leave it for tomorrow because I've got other things to do. See if it will manage to work this time. Okay, so this time we actually get a clone completed message. Perfect. Did it actually work? Uh, that's uh, another story entirely. Huh. Okay, I'm going to shut the computer down. And uh, then we'll go ahead and move forward with changing the drive. Okay, so... How exactly is this done? I see a hard drive symbol here and there. So I'm assuming that this is the door that needs to come off to remove the hard drive. The question of the day is, do I need to remove all the doors? My battery is running down again. I just charged the stupid thing. Looks like for some reason there are three screws. Looks like it's also pretty easy to remove the CMOS battery if we needed to do something. But this battery is good, so there's no reason to touch that. So. Pull that out, and there is the drive in question. So I'm going to go ahead and change that, and I guess change this battery, or maybe charge it even more. Okay, or you can see the SSD. It's installed here. So I'll go ahead and put it in place, plug it in, screw it into place. Hopefully this is going to work. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to revisit this video later because I don't have time this morning. It's 3.30 and I've got a laundry list of other things to do. I was hoping that this was going to be a really quick project. And so far it's taken about an hour. You know, I really did not expect this to take an hour. Because a disc clone should take maybe 30 minutes. I'm not surprised, because things like this happen all the time. Especially to me, for some reason. It seems like a disproportionate number of hard drive-related failures happen to me, but whatever, I guess. Make sure that all the snaps are in place, which they are. And then I can go ahead and flip the machine back around, plug it in, and watch the fireworks. Okay. Focus goes nuts. She should start straight into Windows. How much do you want to bet that it's not? Well, we got starting Windows, so that much is still working. Holy crap. 
That's a lot faster now. At least that part of startup was. That's not bad. Yeah, that's definitely a lot faster than it was. I'm sure it's going to want me to reboot after doing this. Which I could do, I have no problem with that. But I just want to get this done. Now it wants me to restart. I wanted to take a look at the smart data just to see what it says. Because I'm curious, greatly curious. This is a Celeron, by the way. Uh, this is the HPG60, if I didn't mention it. Of course, it's mentioned in the title. But this is a Celeron 900, so this is not a very high power system by any stretch of the imagination. So, I'm going to have to run programs and updates, probably uninstall some of the junk that's on this machine that doesn't need to be on this machine. Smart Data reports that it's good. For some reason it says 20,000 hours, which is interesting because that's exactly what the other one says. So I don't know if it actually even reports power on hours. Um, but it's reporting apparently more data than the uh, 128 gig versions are. So maybe they're newer? I don't know. It is SATA 6 gig capable too. Although this is, of course, SATA 3 maximum. The drive that was installed, which, by the way, I actually found out is an IBM drive. Uh, well, it's a Lenovo drive. Basically the same thing. Even without reading the data on the or the uh, drive sticker, you can just tell from FRU part number in the upper corner there. So that's all you need to know. I think that's it for the video. There's not a whole lot else I need to share with you. Just a quick little drive swap, or at least what should have been a quick little drive swap that turned into a little bit more. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.